Hi guys, good morning. I am on my way to the Sephora VIB event and I am super excited. I am meeting my friend V there and this is the first time I've ever gone to one because I just became VIB this year. I know you think, oh, I've been VIB now. I don't really buy, I mean, I do buy that much, but um, apparently not until this year. So this year, I'm going through a tunnel, by the way, which is kind of cool. Um, so this year, I finally made VIB, and this is the very first VIB Rouge event that I've gotten invited to. Okay, I'm sorry, I made VIB before, and now I'm VIB Rouge. So, I got invited to a VIB Rouge event, um, and I'm super, 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 super excited, and I don't know what I'm gonna get. I brought my two, I brought two mascara vouchers that I had from uh, the Lash mini set where you got a free uh, full size. So I'm gonna use those. I'm not used to being up this early um, on a Saturday morning especially. Um, so I'm definitely gonna get two new mascaras. I think I'm just gonna both get both milk because it's been my favorite mascara lately and it's what I want. I apologize for the noise. I'm next to a big old diesel truck. Do you like my little my little scarf, my little thing? I'm wearing my Empire Strikes Back t-shirt. I love it. I'm channeling fierceness or as much as I can muster at this hour. Um, anyways, I am on my way there, so I'm super excited. I'm going to concentrate on driving because I don't have my little magnetic thing for my phone. So I don't want to be holding this while I'm driving to a place that I'm not used to going to. Um, whenever I signed up for the event, I couldn't get to go to the ones, the one that was near my house. Um, there was no space. I don't know if maybe they even didn't have the event there because I usually go to the Sephora inside JCPenney's and then it said that the nearest one was at Ross Park Mall. So I'm going to north of the city. So yeah, that's where I'm going. So what I'll do is I'm definitely going to try to film as much as I possibly can. I'm going to film, um, see the sun coming in the back and it really like brings out my red hair that I just dyed recently um, so I'm gonna film whenever I get to the actual mall and walk into the event and then if I can film a little bit in the event probably once I concentrate and have the items that I want in hand I'll tell you what I'm looking for I think that I'm going to get um, I saw a couple sets that I wanted, and I think the only sets that I really want was, I noticed that they have the new Urban Decay Highlighter Kit, as well as a new Stilla Highlighter Kit, and you all know I love highlighters, so I feel like I want to purchase those. They're both like $36 a piece, and then um, I'm going to get my two mascaras. And then I think you have to spend $35 to get a goodie bag, so I'll get a goodie bag automatically. Um, and then, let's see, the only other thing that I wanted was a Bite Beauty lip set that I saw that was really beautiful and had some beautiful colors to it. Um, so yeah, it had lipsticks in it instead of lip pencils. Um, so I think that that's what I'm gonna end up getting. They're probably minis, I'm assuming, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm going to stop filming right now. Yeah. My, my Siri is telling me to go places. So, that's my cue to say bye-bye. Okay, guys. So, today was Sephora VIB Rouge event. And it was the very first one that I've ever gone to. So, it's pretty exciting for me. Um, I just became Rouge not too long ago. So this was the very first one that I was ever invited to, so I went. And so the purpose of these events is you get to see some products that are just launching for the holidays, and so you get like early access to them. Um, so, and also they give you like a treat bag and 
that's really about it. But I'll show you what I got um, that I am pretty excited about. So um, I'm not going to like open any of the products that I got, but I'm just gonna go through real quick and show you what I got. So I got the Stilla Starlight Star Bright Highlighting Palette. Y'all know that I am a slap for highlighters. It's true. It's true. Speaking of other things that I'm crazy for, PSL. Believe it or not, I got another highlighting palette. So I got the Naked Illuminated Trio. So it has three colors in it. Pyrite, Oasis, and Twilight. I actually could see me, myself using this as a bronzer. So we're gonna try that out and see what it's like. Oh, does the, it doesn't, the Stilla one doesn't show the colors on the back and I'm not opening anything. This I was very super excited about. This was had a high, high price tag and I've never actually bought any Bobbi Brown products. I've had lots of samples, but this is the Bobbi to Glow Shimmer Brick Palette. So in this, you get all three shimmer bricks that are currently available all in one palette. They're a bit smaller than, not much, I don't know by ounces how much, but they're a bit smaller, but you get all three of them. And I'm pretty sure each of them is like 30 some dollars, so what a bargain, because you get three of them. And they're all usable, and from what I've heard, a lot of people use them for eyeshadow, for blush, for highlighter, for bronzing, so that's pretty exciting. And then, I really wanted to try the new Hourglass, Vanish Seamless Foundation. It is a um, stick foundation. I've never, I've always wanted to try a stick foundation. The girl at Sephora showed this to me um, along with the brush, which was pretty fantastic. I was pretty impressed by it, so I did get the brush too. This was pretty pricey, but um, they were both like $60. So this this was a good deal. No, they were both $46. So basically this was $100 altogether, which was pretty pricey, but um, the Bobbi Brown, I'll go back. The Bobbi Brown, this was like 56. This was 36 and this was 36. So there's, a li there's like one more thing in the bag and then some samples and I'll show you all that. So I also got the Bite um, lipstick set that came in this like quad. Aren't those colors gorgeous? So yeah, that was $25, definitely worth it. Um, and then they threw like two samples in my bag. I don't know, not really, nothing to write home about there. I got some samples while I was in there. I got Derek Lamb 2 a.m. Kiss. I got the Josie Moran Mud Mask, and I got the Pharmacy Honey Mask. I've been wanting to try those. Um, and then, let's see. I'll show you the little VIB bag that they gave us, and maybe give you an idea of what's in there. Wait a minute, my little VIB bag is not in here. Oh wait, it's in my larger bag. So this is the bag that they gave you. It's a cute bag. It has some products in here. The ones to write home about, they gave you a Clarins um, facial. They gave you an Elizabeth and James sample. They gave you a Lancome mascara. They gave you a Sephora eye makeup remover. I'm excited about this. It's a tattoo liner in a brown color, and I've been wanting one because I like brown, brown eyeliner. Um, a Dr. Brandt facial thing, and that's basically it. Oh, there were also some Estee Edit um, lipstick samples inside of the bag as well, um, and some Clinique samples. So that was everything for Sephora. And then I happened to go and hang out with my friend, um, V. And then I went next door to where she works and I went to the Lush store. So I just picked up two things. Um, I picked up the Breath of Fresh Air toner water and silky underwear. If you do not know what this is, you need to know, especially in the summer. Put it in your bra, put it 
Um, literally, like if you don't want any chafing, if you're wearing pantyhose, it's amazing. And I got some samples while I was there. I always, I never walk away without samples. I got the salted coconut foot scrub. I got the cup of coffee facial. And I got the daddy -O shampoo. Some things that I've been wanting to try. So sorry for talking fast, but I wanted to get through that. So I'm going to go to a brand new um, Nordstrom Rack. Pittsburgh, the city I live in, didn't have a Nordstrom Rack until now. I'm going to be exhausted after this. So after this, I'm going to go for a swim. But I'm probably going to take you with me inside um, the Nordstrom Rack. They have some of the Art Love Color Masterclass boxes. And I actually bought this at Sephora whenever it was on clearance for the same price. And it's a really nice palette. So, and they are selling it for just $29.97, which is a bargain. Because this says $65, but this was this is a value of like $180. It's amazing. And then they have the double exposure palette, which I have and never used for $24. They have the Laura Geller Fresh Favorites palette. That's actually nice. 24. They have Smashbox Halo sets, which is a foundation primer, BB cream, and then a powder with the baby kabuki for 14. And this is our convention center. Um, it's called the David L. Lawrence Convention Center. So it's pretty cool. The construction of it, we'll go under it in a second. It kind of, um, it overhangs almost into the river, which is right over there. And um, so there's parts of it that you're standing in and you're kind of like under it. It's pretty neat. And then actually up in 1000 feet, Fort Sorry. Duquesne Boulevard turns slightly right and becomes 11th Street. So, yeah, like underneath of it, um, it there's like you can get you can drive through there, and that's completely under the convention center, which is really cool. And then that's the river, so pretty neat. <laughs> 